This is a patient who has persistent hypotony after cataract surgery and agoniotomy was performed six months earlier. Uh, here we're going to take down the nasal conjunctiva over where the uh, cyclodialysis cleft is. And we're now visualizing the cleft using a gonio prism so I can see exactly where it is. And then mark the uh, sclera in that area so I know uh, that I'm going to be repairing. I'm then going to mark the eye uh, about 2.6 uh, millimeters back from the uh, limbus. And I'm going to use a technique that was shared with me by Dr. Arsham Shabani. This is a CIF4 needle that's passed completely through sclera, catches uh, ciliary body, uh, and uh, is passed out through the sclera again. And uh, this is uh, tied, creating a mattress suture that is uh, full thickness and will uh, hopefully approximate the uh, uh, ciliary body uh, to the uh, wall of the eye and close the cleft. I'm going to tie this with a 311 knot, rotate the suture, and then uh, once this is done, I'm going to reinspect uh, with gonioscopy. And when I do this, the, you know, it looks to me like the cleft uh, might still be open and I'm concerned. I want to make sure that I absolutely close this. I don't want to have hypotony after taking her to the OR. So I'm going to do a second approach, an ab interno approach under direct visualization that uh, I saw uh, first from UC Davis Eye Center. Uh, here I'm going to enter with a CTC6 needle, tenoproline, uh, grab the uh, tip of the needle uh, with a micro forceps, and under direct visualization, I'm going to pass the needle through the uh, root of the iris, hopefully catch a ciliary body, and directly uh, under direct visualization, uh, pass this through the wall of the eye. I grab the suture. I'm careful not to pass the suture into the skin. It is kind of a tight working area here. She has a bit of a crowded orbit. Uh, so this is the second half of the suture. Again, being very careful not to catch any stromal fibers here in the cornea. That would not be good. We want to make sure we're completely in the eye with the needle. Grab the tip of the needle. Uh, and under direct visualization with gonioscopy, I'm going to pass this through the root of the iris and the ciliary body and push this out through sclera and hopefully approximate the uh, ciliary body to the uh, wall of the eye this way with this mattress suture, which has been placed under direct observation. One end is cut short. I'm going to do a 3-1-1 tie. And I'm going to tie this very tight. And when I do this, I can see some very slight ovalization of the uh, pupil, um, as you see here. Um, I'm going to cut the knot short after I do the 3 one, one tie, and then bury the knot by rotating it into sclera, as you see here. Uh, we're then going to inspect again uh, with uh, gonioscopy. Um, and uh, confirm that the cleft now is completely closed. Uh, this is uh, nice uh, to see. We then close conjunctiva, remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber with irrigation aspiration hand pieces. Um, I'm then going to confirm that I can firm up the eye with uh, BSS uh, when I stromal hydrate the uh, paracentesis. The eye feels firm and the case is completed. The patient's pressure was actually very high the next day. We had to control that with medication. Thank you for your attention to this case.